guess who got a package? This guy. This is the one of many packages that I have. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Shout out to Ryan. Bro really outdid himself. Rick Owen, Ramones, Sherling, Ramones. Rick Owens. Ramones. 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 I had to buy these. The only defect is this side here is like kind of ripped a bit, but I think I can get this fixed, but it's nice and plush. Look at them. I think they are from Autumn Winter 15. Paul's probably gonna yell at me. I, I'm not entirely sure if that's the right season, but that's what I was made aware of. They are a size 44. You can barely even, you can barely tell. Nice Sherling on the inside. Perfect for the summer day of hot heat but overall these are beautiful they're not that toasted i might get them vibram sold on the bottom let me try these on oh, i'm wearing shorts with these uh mind you so they probably won't look the best now you might be asking yourself why did you pick up a pair of ramones uh they're burnt out yes i know they're burnt but i wanted a pair another pair because i have vegan ramones i've had these vegan ramones for a couple years now and they're kind of toasted i'm actually building a side wardrobe of color crazy mind-blowing i know the the back of my closet here, my wardrobe is very dark, but I've been wanting to build a side closet of earth tones. Like that's kind of what I want to go into and every MF does this all the time. But like the thing is, it's just going to be different with me because I'm going to be doing something more interesting, more creative. I'm just an all around awesome person. Don't mind the, uh, the mattress in the background. I still don't have a bed. Um, unfortunately. Hopefully in the meantime, I'll probably get a bed, but this is the first box of a bunch of stuff I'm getting. So I'm getting another box in coming soon and then another box right after that because I had to ship uh, the boxes separately because my friend was telling me they were too huge to ship because uh, of all the things that I got. But you'll see all the pickups I get, but I have these pair of boots that are just my grails. Overall, beautiful boot. I might need to sell it. I might not. It really depends. I have a few people that want to buy them. Yusuf. But you'll see this when it comes in. I got a package. Like I've mentioned before, I'm gonna have one more package come in. And this is just the, this is the second to last package that I got. So let's open this bad boy up and I'll just show you what I got. And whatever fits me, fits me, whatever doesn't, I am selling because your boy gotta pay for rent somehow. So he sell clothes. <laughs> But I mean, for the most part, uh, this package has a lot of clothes that I kind of need and that I bought for summer out here. And honestly, I kind of need it. I mean, that is my wardrobe. Look at that. That's literally my wardrobe. Uh, I'm currently right now, I'm wearing one of the tank tops that I came with. And I'm just gonna do a quick rundown and I'll just show the camera what I got. Yoji Por Om ribbon shirt. This other Por Om shirt. This one does not fit me at all. Another Yoji Por Om bun up. It has a contrasting collar here. Then a CDG armor piece. And I got this helmet laying jean jacket. You can see the nice pleating and everything on it. Uh, that is it for the tops. So I'm gonna be going into the other stuff. So then we got this Yoji Por Om um, knit. I got this. I got this too. I got this shirt. This doesn't fit me. It's too tight. I got these pants. These wrinkled Yoji pants. Nice texture. Denim pants. Fire. Kind of fire. Kind of swag. Issey Miyake. Pleated trousers. They are a baggier pant. So if you aren't entertained already, you might be wondering, how do these fit? How do these look on body? You know, I want to know. Let's try them on. Let's see how they look. So for this first pant, we got these Issey Miyake to trousers. They do have a crop to them, as you can see. Um, they are pretty cropped. They are like below my belly button. I forgot to show you guys. I also got these Yoji um, spiral boots. Um, it's kind of, they're kind of a coveted pair. A lot of people want these. I ended up selling them though. But let's, let's try these on. I look kind of fire. Dang, these, I look tight. I look swag. Boom. These pants don't fit me, so I can't wear them. So these are like probably size 36, I'm gonna say, but they're very big. You can see that, like the pants are just very wide. So we got these capital pants. They have a nice flare at the bottom and they have the drawstrings to tie in, but they do not have any belt loops. Like where are the belt loops at? Like what if I wanted to put a belt on? But the same thing happens with these denim, uh, these capital denim pants as well. They just tighten from the back here, but there is no belt loops or anything in the front. You're supposed to put like suspenders on them. Um, understandable, but they do flare out the bottom. They fit exactly like these. I mean, they're still super cool. Now for these bad boys, I've been I've been waiting for these suckers for such a long time. They don't fit me. They're 
little bit loose, but I will put a belt on because I really want to make these work. But they're so wide. Look how wide that is. They are sick. They fit my thighs. They fit where I want them to fit as long as I put a belt on. On to the next pair of pants. They're a pair of Yoji Por Om denim pants. They have a nice pocket here. Obviously, the very interesting things here. They also have studs along the sides, as you can see even on the inside here. The interesting thing about these pants is that you can unbutton this part and then you got the studs exposed and you just attach them to the back because there's a little button on the back here, just like right here. It has a very interesting shaping to it. So you can see how it looks with this shaped in and then now on the outside, it has like a flare out. So they kind of look like very Western-y pants. Yeah, these are awesome. On to the next pair of pants. These Yoshi weirdly textured crinkled pants. They feel like pajamas almost, um, but they do fit me and they also add a lot of texture. They're very lightweight, very nice, very interesting. I kind of had to get them. They're they're kind of like the Isimiyaki pleated pants with the texture that they provide, but so far that is all for the uh, the pants and we'll be going over the uh, the shirts and stuff. Guess what? We get to try on the shirts now. So let's try them on. We got the Yoji Por Home ribbon shirt. I'm surprised this actually fit me. It's a size two, it's really strange. I am lazy, so I'm not gonna button this up all the way, but you can see the ribbons, they're out and about, but look how it fits on body. Wow, really nice. But yeah, next piece, next piece. This next piece, this helmet laying denim jacket. Wow, so beautiful. What a nice denim jacket. This fits me very tight. Also, the super cool thing is this actually has a little pocket on the inside. Hear me out, hear me out. I was thinking, maybe I should try different silhouetting of clothes, but I hate slim fitting clothes. So this denim jacket though is an exception. It's super cool. It actually fits my arm links. Like there's even extra sleeve, like that's strange, but but honestly, I kind of look good. I kind of look good. So going on to the next piece. The next piece that I got was this Harry Potter hood thing. And it's actually an attachment. I bought it because it was awesome. Shout out Paul, because Paul wants this so bad, but look at this thing. You, you can't tell me this isn't fire. This is so fire. The next piece, we got this Yoji knit. Look at the details. Sexy. Beautiful. It's a really long piece. I might keep this. I'm not entirely sure if I want to. The neck's very wide. But this would be like a layering piece. And weirdly enough, this material, it's linen. Let me know if I should keep this down below. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. On to the next piece. For this next piece, we got this Yoji Por Om. It also is very long, as you can see. Look how long this is. When I put this on, it makes me look so small, but it is wool, but it feels very soft to the touch. It has a lot of interesting details, like the the colors here, as you can see, like it's a mixed, a mix of color. So it's like black with like some interesting shades of gray and the like also the pocket right here also is gray on the inside. So it's a very interesting dyeing process with the material of black, but it is very long on me. Look how long this bad boy is. Yeah, but this piece also really interesting. I really like it. Again, it's another layering piece. You'd put this on during the winter, throw this on, throw something else on top, and then you're good to go, and you'll look very fire with it. Another package. It's been two months. I got all my packages like oh, two months ago and like I had to open them up in my place and I was debating on whether to show this because this was a package I've been waiting on for quite a while. So I don't want anyone thinking that I'm over consuming in clothing because I do end up selling a decent amount of the pieces that I don't fit me. This is a part of the unboxing. I decided to show it, put it in. Let's showcase the pieces. After the unboxing that you didn't see, I'm here to show you the few pieces that I got in. We got this Capital Flare Star, uh, just a lookbook from 2020, whatever. Next piece, we got these ROA Neils. I decided I want a pair of like hiking boots just in general for a lot of the nylon pants that I own because I just felt like I needed a hiking boot. Corp core, whatever. They're size 45. They run true, I would say, because a size 44 would probably fit me a lot better, but I sized up because these were available and I couldn't find a size 44. But yeah, if you plan on getting these, you can size up if you really need to. They're hard to come by. The Neil's rendition is really difficult to find for a reasonable price. A lot of them are like kind of overpriced clearly from all this. So the one thing you'll notice from this package is there's a lot of capital mixed in with Yoji. Um, I got a bunch of like jeans cause I wanted to try on like different pairs of jeans, but a lot of them didn't fit me. And I just ended up buying them just to, you know, sell for rent. One of the capital pieces that I'm keeping is this capital feather bag. It's kind of small. The straps is pretty small, but overall, 
overall, really pretty bag. I really like it. Uh, probably will get some good use out of it. It has some nice texture to it and just interesting looking tote bag to put nothing in. So I'm gonna showcase all the boring denim first. Just a regular pair of capital denim. It has some like light fading here down the like knee area, just probably from use. These are salvage denim. The tag literally got blown out from the person wearing it so much. Another pair of denim, just very plain denim. I think these are also a size, uh, yeah, these are a size 34. Has an interesting like pattern to the denim just in general. Has a lot of interesting texture. I might end up keeping these pair. Uh, they do fit me, they are a size 34. Last pair of denim that is boring is these pairs. Has some fading on it, as you can see with the uh, the knees and everything. These are salvage denim, these are a salvage piece. Now this is where we get into a few Yoji pieces. We have these Yoji runway pants from some season, I don't remember looking at it, but they are also poor um. Now, I did buy these for myself, but they did not fit me. I'm a little bit too thick for them. Uh, next piece, we have this Yoji poor ohm Thanos looking shirt. I did try this B on, it did not fit me. So we got these ground Y size, no clue what size they are, but they do fit me. They are these like very flowy or like shorts. They're cropped on me. They do fit really nice. They're nice and flowy, great for the summer. I think it's like a linen or a cotton. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Next piece, we got this capital, capital pants. They're very wide. Look, look at how wide these are. These are so sick. Uh, I'm keeping these. These are a size three, as you can see from the wash tag there. So this was a piece that I'm really glad that I'm, I know I'm keeping for sure. So these pants, I am, I am so sad these pants don't fit me. These pants are so cool. I sold these for 450. Um, God bless your soul, whoever bought them for me. But they're from t spring, summer, 21. Wise Yoji Yamamoto pants. And these are just a pair of beautiful trousers. Okay, so it's really hot in my room right now. I had to turn off my air conditioner. So if I'm sweating right now on camera, ignore. The last piece is this capital long sleeve. I thought this would fit me. I'll try and implement this into my wardrobe it's a super nice piece denim details to it super cool capital long sleeve shirt i hope you enjoyed the packaging the unboxing but i'll let the other me take over now so yeah now that is everything that i had purchased from all the pickups and stuff and all the randomness that i ended up buying and I had a pretty good haul. Now for the other pieces that I ended up buying, I am gonna be selling those on my Instagram. That's usually where I list them. So hopefully this video goes up before I post them. Probably not. Whatever's left over, you should probably check out my Instagram. Maybe the next package that I get, the next haul of stuff. I'll probably post them on my Instagram and sell them. I do this quite often. Uh, I do sell a lot of stuff for real good prices. I know a lot of people bought a bunch of stuff when I moved out here to New York. Before I moved, I actually ended up selling a decent amount of my wardrobe just because I kind of needed to make room and also it was just like shipping all these clothes out here was hella expensive. I still don't got a bed. I still don't got a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm still like looking and on the search for stuff, but I, I do have my desk and stuff here and I got my seat here. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this, uh, this nice unboxing. I really appreciated you being here. And yeah, I, I see that we're growing. Um, last time I checked, we're at 8,000 subscribers. Thank you for all that. Thanks for all the support, the love, the hate, the criticism. I'm gonna be trying to do YouTube more often because TikTok sucks. Instagram is whatever, but uh, I'm gonna be doing more YouTube videos. I'm gonna be talking about like some more social skills that you might need, how to how to look at social cues, how to talk to women. I'll be doing a how to scam method pretty soon as well. Tax fraud, tax invasion. New videos every...